The hymen is a small part of human anatomy that has been surrounded by many myths, misunderstandings, and cultural beliefs for centuries. Medically, the hymen is simply a thin piece of tissue located at the opening of the vagina. It is present in many people who are born with vaginas, but its appearance, shape, and thickness vary greatly from person to person. Understanding what the hymen is, how it develops, and how it changes over time can help separate medical facts from long-standing myths. From a biological point of view, the hymen forms during fetal development before a baby is born. As the vagina develops, a thin membrane of tissue remains at the entrance. This tissue is what is called the hymen. It is not a seal or wall that completely closes the vagina. In most cases, it has one or more openings that allow normal bodily fluids, such as vaginal secretions and menstrual blood, to pass through. Without these openings, normal bodily functions would not be possible. One common myth is that the hymen is a solid barrier that breaks the first time someone has vaginal intercourse. Medically, this is not accurate. The hymen is usually flexible and stretchy rather than fragile. In many people, it does not tear or rupture in a dramatic way. Instead, it may stretch gradually over time, or it may already have a wide opening long before any sexual activity occurs. For this reason, there is no single, predictable event that causes a hymen to change. The shape and structure of the hymen differ widely. Some hymens form a ring around the vaginal opening, others look more like a crescent, and some have multiple small openings. There are also cases where the hymen has very little tissue at all. In rare situations, a person may be born with a hymen that covers most or all of the vaginal opening. This is called an imperforate hymen, meaning there is no opening. This condition is usually discovered during adolescence, when menstrual blood cannot leave the body, and it can be treated with a simple medical procedure. Throughout childhood and adolescence, the hymen can change naturally. Hormones, especially estrogen, play an important role in this process. Before puberty, estrogen levels are low, and the hymenal tissue may be thinner and less elastic. As puberty begins, estrogen levels rise, causing the tissue to become thicker, more elastic, and more flexible. This natural hormonal change makes the hymen better able to stretch without injury. Everyday activities can also affect the hymen. Physical movements such as running, jumping, cycling, gymnastics, or using tampons can cause stretching or small changes in the hymenal tissue. These changes are usually painless and go unnoticed. Because of this, it is impossible to look at a hymen and determine what activities a person has or has not done. There is no medical test that can reliably tell whether someone has had vaginal intercourse based on the appearance of the hymen. Another widespread myth is that vaginal intercourse always causes pain and bleeding the first time. In reality, this varies greatly. Some people experience mild discomfort, some feel no pain at all, and some may notice light bleeding while others do not. Bleeding, when it happens, is often due to small tears in the vaginal tissue or dryness, not necessarily the hymen itself. Factors such as relaxation, arousal, natural lubrication, and emotional comfort play a large role in how the body responds. The vagina is a muscular, flexible canal designed to stretch and adapt. When a person is relaxed and aroused, blood flow to the area increases, and natural lubrication helps reduce friction. This allows the vaginal opening and surrounding tissues, including the hymen if present, to stretch more comfortably. When someone is tense, anxious, or not adequately lubricated, discomfort is more likely, regardless of the state of the hymen. Cultural beliefs have often linked the hymen to ideas of virginity, purity, or moral value. From a medical perspective, virginity is not a physical condition and cannot be proven or disproven by examining the body. It is a social and cultural concept rather than a biological one. The hymen does not provide reliable information about a person's sexual history, and medical professionals recognize that using it for this purpose is inaccurate and harmful. In some cultures, the presence or absence of bleeding during first intercourse has been wrongly used as evidence of virginity. Medically, this belief is unfounded. As explained earlier, many people do not bleed the first time they have vaginal intercourse, and some may bleed even if they have never had intercourse before, due to minor injuries, hormonal changes, or other factors. Bleeding alone does not indicate anything specific about the hymen or sexual history. 
As people age, the hymen continues to change. After childbirth, the hymenal tissue often stretches significantly and may leave small remnants around the vaginal opening. These remnants are normal and do not cause health problems. During menopause, when estrogen levels decrease, the tissue in the vaginal area, including any remaining hymenal tissue, can become thinner and less elastic. This is a normal part of aging and can sometimes cause dryness or discomfort, which can be managed with medical guidance. From a health perspective, the hymen usually does not require any special care or attention. Problems related to the hymen are rare. When they do occur, such as in the case of an imperforate hymen or discomfort caused by unusually thick tissue, they are typically easy to diagnose and treat. Medical professionals focus on the person's comfort, bodily function, and overall well-being, rather than the appearance of the hymen itself. It is also important to understand that medical examinations of the hymen are limited in what they can show. Ethical medical practice does not support virginity testing, as it has no scientific basis and can cause emotional and physical harm. Major health organizations around the world have spoken out against such practices, emphasizing that they violate human rights and medical ethics. Education about the hymen helps reduce fear and confusion. When people understand that the hymen is simply a small, variable piece of tissue with no connection to personal worth or moral status, it becomes easier to approach sexual health with confidence and respect for the body. Knowledge allows individuals to make informed decisions and to seek medical help when something feels unusual or uncomfortable. The body is designed to change and adapt throughout life. The hymen is just one example of how human anatomy varies naturally from person to person. There is no single normal appearance and changes over time are expected. Medical science focuses on function and health rather than myths or cultural expectations. By separating myths from medical facts, it becomes clear that the hymen is not a marker of sexual experience, purity, or identity. It is a small part of the body that develops before birth, changes with hormones and movement, and usually has little impact on health. Understanding this helps create a more accurate, compassionate, and respectful view of human anatomy and sexual health.